hi and welcome to my channel. I'm Emilia, this strange mix of a dreamer and a creative soul and a forest thing and uh, an old testament researcher X1 though. And until recently this channel has been all about art journaling and mixed media but, but then Nightwish happened to me and now it's this unorthodox mix of things just like me. I kind of love it. <laughs> now I have a confession to make. I enjoyed reacting to The Phantom of the Opera so much. I loved it. I want to do more. So how lucky I am to have a channel where I can do that. Let's land some more night twists among all the winded lace and silk. <laughs> it's story time. Now, I had this clever idea of uh, creating art journals while I uh, do these reactions. But I am not a Wonder Woman. Sorry. I can't create while I watch Nightwish performing live. I just can't. I <laughs> I want to see them creating the magic. So, um, what I am going to do, what I am trying to do, is to do a reaction, um, a creative reaction, and show it to you. And for my Archie friends, I will um, record the process of creating this. Um, our journal reactions. So I think that's 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 the deal. No, no. Uh, about the song of the uh, today, uh, the Phantom of the Opera uh, with uh, Tarja Turunen was so phenomenal. I wanted uh, to, or I thought I needed to do equally big reaction for you. Um, with their current singer, uh, Flora Janssen. But then I reacted, uh, reacted, no, I realized the things first. First. <laughs> Nightwish is Nightwish is Nightwish. Uh, second, <laughs> there is no point uh, trying to figure out I figure out what you, you, <laughs> you want. I'm mixing to all the cameras, sorry. <laughs> I, 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 I can't figure it out, uh, figure out what you want. I'm not a witch. Mm, probably. Anyway, not the point. <laughs> My point is, the only thing I need to do is to do what I love. And I think uh, Nightwish is actually one of the greatest examples of that. Not thinking about what um, others want, but to do what you love. And I love story time, so it's that simple. So story time, official live from Wacken Open Air Festival Germany 2013. Um, well, what can I say about it? To, it's one of the biggest uh, metal festivals in the world. Um, the audience is about uh, 82,000 people, which is basically the you know, population of the nearest town here, <laughs> my nearest town. So now I have heard this song before. I have also seen the scary music video with Annette. Uh, but for me, this song never gets old. And um, I want to share the joy of experience it. experiencing it. And I really, really cannot wait uh, to see this live performance. Um, but there is one thing I want to um, um, talk about before we start. Uh, how to put this? 
I'm never going to put night, members of Nightwiz in any kind of order. Uh, it's um, for me, Nightwiz is Nightwiz is Nightwiz. And um, I can say I prefer one performance from another. And I can also tell you why I think so. But I can't say who is better. So please bear with me. Um, the way I feel or, or, or see and, and hear music is not the only proper way to experience uh, music. It's like, um, you know, Purple is my favorite color, but it doesn't mean it has to have it has to be yours. We all uh, feel and and um, experience things differently. Um, that being said, um, I first heard this song uh, sung by Annette, and I liked it a lot. It was like. Um, Abba in a high fever, <laughs> and then I heard uh, Flora singing it, and I li I loved it. It it was like um, flying in a dream, maybe. Sorry, I can. <laughs> I tried to um, look at the right camera. Mm. Uh, well. What can I say about it? What does that tell you? It, I, for me, it tells that um, this song is so universal. No matter how it's delivered, it still catches you. So let's make it catch us right now. I think it's time for a little story. It's definitely story time. Sorry, I'm pausing this early. I just realized um, or remembered that when I heard this song for the first time, I dismissed it as a no, after just a few um, meters. No, this is not for me. Uh, and that taught me a lesson. Uh, never judge a book by its cover or a song by its first seconds or meters or bars it's um you would need some magic also i wouldn't play this for my kids for a lullaby that's <laughs> that's for sure sorry let's 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 start over again it's definitely story time again but I just that was so funny did you hear that bass uh, I, I, I I think it was Marco um, with with his bass uh, uh, it was just a few notes um, but um, it was like taking flight or falling back do 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 and and then floor was was singing like that that's, that that come 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 join me and then, uh, then Emputo joined in, and it was definitely off the ground. But um, sorry, one more time. <laughs> sorry. Let's. <laughs>
it's beautiful. I have tears in my eyes. Oh, is it so beautiful? Uh, for a few seconds there, I thought uh, we were off to a nightmare, but then it kind of reset itself. And um, I love the way Nightwish uh, does these uh, tiny little pauses that are like breathing. Like, you know, when there is a silence between the notes or or the words in a book or or like I always say in my art journaling, not comparing Nightwish to art journaling, but I'm trying to <laughs> uh, explain my point. Um, you need to have silence between all the things, even if they are really beautiful, because if you get something too much, it uh, loses its meaning. You have to have space for breathing. For your brain, your eyes, your ears, your heart and your soul, you need to have that pace, time to breathe. And that's what uh, makes me like or love so much Nightwish songs. They have these, um, this absolute beautiful way of allowing you to breathe and they are off again and it makes it even much bigger and 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 fun and, and in everything but um also uh here i think um i wanted to say something about Mar marco uh, i i think it was that um he's again doing doing what he does did in the Phantom of the Opera. He's creating the whole foundation for for others to uh, to go higher. And and then there is this one and only Empovorinen. <laughs> I I just I I I might or I might have not said in my <laughs> earlier reaction that accidentally I. I I I managed to say that he's uh, like a Paga uh, like Paganini in a Ferrari, and just for record, Nicola Paganini was um, or has been considered one of the greatest violinists in the whole mankind, and he was the greatest uh, vir virtuos of his time. And I just, I have no idea how Empu does this. How one man and one guitar make so much noise in a good way. In a good way. So let's continue. I'll, I'll, I'll wind this back a little. And please remember to go um, like this and watch this original song without me interrupting. You will experience it in a whole different level. Less chest, chest of tails. They just throw these lines at you, and uh, and uh, like just like that. Here, here, there is something uh, to think about the rest of your life. And oh, by the way, here is another one. And and then don't forget this one too. And this is just a one song. How come Nightwish? Or let's. Put, how come? How come? Um, internet isn't exploded from all the Nightwish quotes. Just, just saying. Sorry. Or 
just asking whatever but let's let's go back sorry this this is going to take for a moment here but but um they are having fun aren't they it's it's so fluent and flowing and 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 oh my goodness me also i'm totally hopeless about this like time and signatures there seems to be all over the place just like my heart <laughs> And uh I just wanted to say that Jukka Nevalainen in the drums is incredible. I mean, uh, I... also, I, 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 I would be dead after a few seconds if I tried to do that. <laughs> ah, and he does the whole concert. But about Thomas, um, uh, I might, I, 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 I might not. I'm <laughs> trying to find words in a language that isn't my first. Um, so Thomas. Um, in keyboards, uh, I don't have uh, experience playing keyboards, but I do have ears and eyes, and I think he is magnificent in his own very silent way. Or, well, can you say that about someone who creates or composes symphonic metal music? But anyway, it seems they are having as much fun as me <laughs> and the whole audience okay you can just feel it okay let's let's go back a little <laughs> that but um <laughs> one thing is not uh, for sure you can't describe my face as a boring <laughs> oh sorry um in Anna's version uh um this part floor is now singing is actually sung by a choir <gasps> sorry oh, sorry about that i just because a pride of my life <laughs> There was snow fluff falling from the roof and and I have a window right there when I'm 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 trying to, you know, get all my things uh thoughts <laughs> collected from <laughs> from a while. Oh sorry. <clears throat> sorry about that. Uh, so I was talking about Floor uh, and her voice and Here's the thing, I have listened to operas and opera singers all my life. So for me, her singing this high isn't something new. 
or anyway near draw, uh, uh, jaw dropping. Um, I'm a soprano. I can hit as high notes as, uh, as, as she can, but I'm impressed. She does it in front of an audience like this um, instead of <laughs> opera houses, maybe. Uh, well, she's not an actual opera singer, but but you know, and um, and the way she does it, like she she's really owning not only her her voice and her music and her stage, but also her audience, and um, it's like she she's so effortless and radiating in, in front of all these uh, all these beautiful people in there and 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 I'm I love her absolute pure bitchant and uh, her technique is so fundamentally rock solid I think she if she wants to do something she will it's not that she can't it's it's about choosing if she wants to do or if the song needs something or 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 not it's not um a technical stuff here and also uh even thinking of her doing these windmills i think you call them um <laughs> it, it makes me dizzy so how can she start singing after a few seconds and not just collapsing to the states is a mystery to me and then uh, she has this um incredible ability ability to sound like she's performing just for you and you alone no one else like there would be not a single soul in the universe when she's singing just for you and that is something when there is uh, 82,000 other persons around. Wow. So I'm, I'm, I'm rewinding this back just a little and I, um, <laughs> I hope I can, I can do it without any more pauses. Sorry.
I really got tears in my eyes. Uh, Nightwish has a tendency to do that to me always. Uh, and not only for, with their uh, slow songs uh, touching one's beat, but something like this, that something touches, that touches your um, soul and hugs it in a kind of adrenaline ad how do you make a, a ver, uh, an adjective from adrenaline but you know something that gives you really much adrenaline <laughs> in one hug uh, but um but you know uh this song makes me feel like like i'm i'm flying with my arms open wide, uh, without care in the world, and like I was, uh, like I was, I, I'm trying to find a verse. Like I was, I, you know, like I was try, uh, looking down all the tales and stories there ever was and um and you know um each line they have there is so full of meaning how was it uh um i'm the story that reads uriel or something and every memory that you hold dear and this song does it 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 this song does this for me it it makes me feel when i listen to this like i um i could touch all those memories i lost uh when i had an accident and got a brain injury and lost so much of my life Anytime I listen to this song, it's it it it's 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 like I I I I'm getting back some of them the, those things and caress the tales that may uh, they will dream you real. I mean, <laughs> it's like a deep, deep, uh, blue sky full of stars and. Yeep promises of more stories more um dreams of another earth it's um and 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 you 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 it's like you can um uh, that you could reach your hand and 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 trust them and they will lead you home to I don't know where to the tales to make you real to uh, to make you who you are. Oh, that okay, okay. I'm I'm going. <laughs> I'm going off here. So let's just finish it here. And <laughs> oh, I I promised to show you the journal or journal page I made. Uh, Again, I'm not sure if this is the right, if it's um, reversed, but this is something I made. So that's my creative reaction. <laughs> uh, and thank you so much for watching and sharing this experience with me. Thank you.